New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. It's Hot 97, Ebro in the Morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg, and DJ Esco. Gia oh, in the building. Yeah, we Mohawk's still intact, the Dreadhawk. It's still intact, man, ever since... uh. I got out of Dubai. I had to move with Dre Hawk. Dre Hawk. Well, we're going to get to Dubai in a second, <laughs> but what kind of this takes some serious construction. Who does this for you? You have uh, a hairstylist? Desi. Yeah, Desi in Atlanta, man. She a uh, down south girl from Alabama, and I was trying to figure out how to put it in a mohawk. <laughs> So we had trial and error. Oh, like, so this was oh, a, what? This, this is, is architecture. This error. is a real. Yes, this is like. There's some versions okay, that, that didn't work. work. Yeah. <laughs> some versions were not right. My mohawk just fell out. You just left two hours. <laughs> <out. laughs> I need you to come back. I need some reinforcements. Right. <laughs> and then you had to figure out your sleeping situation. Oh yeah, because I sleep on my back. So right. I'm like, oh man, my neck. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, a, a thing. it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a whole thing. Let's get to Dubai. Okay. You did 50 days, right? 50, yeah, 50 days in jail? 56 what, days. Just tell us the story. 50 plus the six. You yeah, know, don't forget the six, because you you felt every one of those six, you too. You got to feel it. You feel the hours. So, tell, how did this happen? Oh, uh, man. Fucking around with some weed in Dubai. Basically. Okay, so, we was on a long ass, like, we was on a long Europe tour. Okay. And um, this is the time we just dropped Monster. So we was in Europe while Monster was out, and we couldn't wait to get back home to get the reaction from Monster because it was Future's big comeback street, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. So we're in Europe, wrapping it up, and we had just came from uh, Amsterdam. So I plenty was of loaded. weed, yeah, yeah plenty <laughs> so of weed, we edibles, up. whatever you need. And the plan was to go home from Amsterdam. We end up booking an extra show in Abu Dhabi. Mm. That wasn't even nothing to do with the tour. Like we're gonna do well, one the bags, last. The bags are so big down there. One you can't last even, bag. Yeah. You have to. You're already here. And so, that flight, you're already on that side. So what is that? On, a five hour flight. You're already something? on that yeah. side. You got to yeah. do it. So we do it. We did it. And without me knowing, you know, like um, anything about where I was going, I didn't do no research, and I didn't realize how serious this was gonna be. So you know, when we took all the all the baggage out, of course, I'm the last one with the bags. So I was walking out with everybody's bags, the whole team's bags. Like DJ Esco's pushing everybody's bags. Well, because like, that was your that was role. role. A lot of people yeah, don't know that yeah. DJ Esco's like the right. He's the roadie. Like, yeah, like Esco, get the bags. Right, and get the bags. By the way, I so respect that. That just upped your whole respect oh, game yeah. in my eyes. Because to me, he's that, the DJ. That part's missing from DJ culture now. Because oh, now yeah. you just got your douchebag friend who has a laptop. Right. So exactly. I, I want to see. I want to know you carried some shit for yeah, a minute. Good oh, for you. Yeah. So I'm carrying the bags all out and um. That's when I got stopped. So you know. So you hadn't even really got on the ground good. It wasn't oh, like nah. you was blazing up yeah. at the mall or nothing nah. stupid. Everybody was out the airport. I was still in the airport. Wow. So I had all the bags. Since I had all the bags, they had to check all the bags, and I was claiming all the bags. So they, so, so they it wasn't through. even yours? So we went through. They went through all the bags. They were ours bags. They were you know everyone's bags. What are you trying to do? Laura. I just, Laura. Not. What are you trying to do? I, I know. She's yes. like, who was yes. it? Name a name. I'm not asking to name a name, but it's just, it's just. It was, this looks he like took a, the 56 bad days on the chin. So locked up. Our bag. So we had a bag, and then so I went back. They took me in, and this is the most major part, Ebro. Like, this is the part that changed my life. I never really tell this part because I like to keep this to myself, but. You're kind of tearing up. I ain't going to lie. You, this is emotional. No, this is a serious situation. All right. All right, because right when they detained me, they was like, um, like, what are you doing? Like, They knew I was doing something. I got all these bags, like music. We're here for music. But I didn't really want to tell, like, I'm here for future and this, because then they tie you all in together. So it's just me. I'm a DJ. I'm here to do, to do some things. And um, I'm from America. They already know that. So... They told me like, well, if you, I'm making it like it was a more of a big deal than I was, cause you, this is like three, three years ago. So a lot of people didn't even know who DJ Esco was before 56 Nights. So keep in mind, I don't really have that big of a face out there. You know what I mean? Cause I was playing background. I wanted, I was being purposely being behind the scenes mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. future's in front of the scenes, and I didn't want to be up there like I'm trying to get. You hadn't done the dance all on the video. video. Yeah, right. 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 I wasn't the being all in the no, video. That was your and job. All, yeah. Was your so job. I was trying to be like. I'm in house. I'm in house producer. I'm get the bass. I'm DJ on the road. I'm DJ at Magic City still. Like, but I wasn't doing being on videos. I always be like, nah, I'm cool. I'd be right in the back behind you, behind the camera, on the side of the camera, right always out the picture. So when I got detained, 
they were like, yo, if if you can show us that you have your video, like that you're a big deal in America, like show us yourself on TV, we'll let you go right now. <gasps> that is incredible. So your own modesty bit you in the ass and you couldn't find a video with you couldn't actually in the one front. one video. All the Googles and my mixtapes would pop up. But since I was That's just so, your name. That's just, that's just the name. So they wanted to see me on TV. And since I couldn't pull it, they were like, yeah, take him. And they took me to jail. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Damn. So you got to think for those next 56 nights how I was kicking myself for not doing what I should have been doing the whole Album time. out now. DJ Esco. <laughs> Let's call the blind. Now, Yo, real, get that out. Now, <laughs> now, real quick. So Shoot you, some videos. Yeah. You're a DJ. Wow. You're a DJ, a producer. You're a musician. Right. I'm guessing you were... Uh, let me, how do I put this? Are, are you mostly a square? Smoke some weed? Regular guy? Like, not yeah, involved like, in I'm, shit? I was boring, man. So, so yeah. this was... So my <laughs> point is... The idea of go you are not a guy where going to jail was ever an option. Exactly. It was never going like to be you. Was, yeah, that wasn't so my thing. How like, do you, out of all the people, right, like, it wasn't, I went to jail. Like. So how do you, <laughs> people might be like, you know, there, there are hard rocks listening to be like 56 nights in Dubai, right. I do that on my head. Yeah. If you yeah. never plan on going to jail, you don't plan on committing crimes. 56 right. minutes. 56 right. minutes is a lot. When did it hit you that you're like, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm actually going to go be in a jail right now? Like, when did that... Oh, yeah, right then. It happens that right then. Like, it's not like America where you go through this process and you go to jail right then. You know what I'm saying? So they took me right to this um, holding tank for the first two days. I was just in this in this cell with, like, some Pakistanians. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, nobody's talking to each other. We're just sitting there. They don't give you no water, no food for, like, the first couple of days. And then they take you to the big jail. They take you to the big jail. They don't tell you. You don't. You never know how long you going to. To the, the justice system doesn't work. Like you get to count down your days because that that would ease your mind if you knew how. If they would have told me you're gonna be in jail 56 nights, then I can put my brain into a mode of and you count see down. The light at the end right, of the time. Right, they don't right. tell you when you're getting out. So every day is another wonder of when you're gonna get out because you don't know when you're gonna get Fam. out. It could be two years. It's people that was in there for three, four years and they still ain't got a court date. How limited? And they just waiting on a court date. And for weed. For, for anything. They put you all together. It's not, they don't divide it. See, it's so different from America. We like, oh, it's just weed, it's coke, it's heroin, it's different levels to this. Over there, it's all drugs. You're bad. Damn. You're all you bad. You had weed, you had kilos. I, my roommates all had kilos. I was the only one that had, Oof. they called it hashish. Yeah. I'm yeah, the only yeah. one with hashish. They laughed at me because my charges was hashish. Everybody else was kilos of coke and like major, major, major crime. You know what I'm saying? But they put us all in the same thing. Did you have a drug? Yes. Did you have a drug? Yes. All right. Okay, all, right. all y'all the same. How limited was your communication with family, with anyone in the U.S.? Yeah, and I didn't talk to nobody in America. I didn't even talk to Future. I tried to talk couldn't, to him. Yeah, couldn't couldn't. Talk. yeah like, wait, 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 wait. You don't want to waste your minutes. So wait, when you first doing the, that the first day. <laughs> How long did it take for you to communicate with somebody from your world so someone knows where you are? And When you first, well, that took a probably, um, I don't know, BK. It just took a while because like days? I didn't even know how to call to America. So, like, what about your mom? You got to learn how to figure out that part first. Wait, wait, and there ain't no help. There's <laughs> no, no help. Ain't no help. Ain't nobody language to... barrier. So Yeah, so when I, when I first came in, they were like, uh, they were like, uh, you gonna be here a couple of days. That's what they tell you. So like, uh, you like a couple of days. I was already tripping off that. Like a couple of days. No, no, no. I got a show <laughs> tomorrow. We right. bag. Yeah. So they were like, yeah, just go ahead. And they open the door, and then they close it, and then you turn around, and then you like, oh, we in here. Like, this is it. Oh, this is jail, jail. Oh, the whole jail stop. Oh, we go to jail, yeah, jail. Guard, guard, guard. Yeah. Go! The whole Damn. jail stopped because they never seen no American. Shout out to Ha Davis, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They never seen no American before. Yo, bro, I hearing this story, it's amazing because we talk about this jail. This locked up abroad yes, for real. We talk because we talk about jail every day. We talk about Meek every day. We talk about these fucked up nah, situations this ain't in America. That, man. This ain't that. This yeah. is a different thing. <laughs> but they're totally different and scary in different ways. Yeah. So my question is your family. Right. Were there days when your family just straight up didn't know where you were? Yeah, of course. They don't know what's going on. Well, the people had left the airport. Right. You had the bags. They knew you went to jail. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they know. But they, they still had they show to do. They still but they didn't know how to find you yeah, once you, you went to jail. And how to get me out. It ain't like you can go up to the jail like, yo, we got uh, our guy in there and we need to get him out. Nah, this is 
Dubai, we have a whole system he got to go through. So at some point, the future is real slow, and we ain't in no rush to get to it. And he on the bottom of the pile, and the piles up to here. So who we'll wait? Him, we'll at what him. point does someone with money call some a good lawyer in America? I remember though, and there was like, people no, making no, no, no. calls for you. That's the thing. That's the thing. You got to get out of America because we're not in America. Uh-huh. You don't call nobody from America to get you out of this. You call somebody from there. Okay, so when does future? Out of this. Well, when no, does, but I remember people trying to call. Like Arab? I think it was French Montana, yeah. Yeah. and people trying to call like the president yeah, of Morocco like, to call. If you're not speaking people, Arabic, they not. Even I don't talk. want you talking for me. Okay, okay, so <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> how long does it take though for someone like Future to talk to the promoter to like what? How do you work that? What do you do? No, it wasn't no working because it was a no one. It was a secret. Future and them didn't know. I didn't know. I guess they didn't know how to play it, so they didn't tell nobody. So I was I was like hidden. That's what made it kind of worse because nobody was telling anybody where I was at. Everyone was just like, I guess maybe he'll get out and then we can act like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? What? And then the, the longer the days kept going on, coming in the weeks and so months. So what? what and no one knows where I'm at. I'm sending it. Tweet. Magic City don't no, know I'm where I'm at. Email. No I'm doing it all. How? No, How? no. If I'm if I was like one of his friends. No, me too. I'm like, yo. Now, real quick, at I what need point? Ba- we need backup. We at need what point? Backup. And for how long? At what point? This is where we find out how honest a person DJ Asko is yeah. truly. At what point and for how long do you just put your hands in your 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 head and your hands start fucking crying? Just, just the just first day. First, I, only, I only cried the first day, and then I didn't cry again until I got on the plane. So you just got a good like hysterical. Like, I got to yeah. get this out of my. Like, is this happening? Just the like, first day because. Like, when you come into jail, you got to pick which side you're going to go on. If you're going to go on to the African side or you're going to go to the Arab side, it's div- the jail is divided in two. And I look. It's my, like that in America. You I know. Know, I know but that's the American right. one. We've exactly. seen this on TV. We know the so, American one. The African Arab joint. It's Never seen this one. Right. They need to make a so movie what did you this. do? So the way my skin. Well, you light skin. You, you got to go Arab. I had to go, I had to, go to the Arab side. Yeah. Got it. Because. He's North African. And they are. You know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> but I, I was one of the few people that. Could go on both sides. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because well, everyone, and they looked at your nose too. Yeah, they was like, so "Oh, was you like, mix." Oh, they're you're really American. interested oh. in yeah, what's going on with me? Like because they don't really know what American looks like. If you're not white, blonde, blue eyes, they really don't know what Americans really look like. Talk like they don't know that we the, the, the were light skin, dark skin, medium skin, all black. They don't get that. They don't get that at all. So were they like, once they to heard me? That I was a white guy, right? Because black people look African color. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying to them. So they don't get that there's African American because that makes no sense to them. <laughs> it makes no like, sense to a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it makes no sense. Like if you're if you're you're American, and those you are also and the, and the people the Africans in jail there are also a lot of East Africans too, yeah, right? It's so East Africans, West. It's Africans. not like Nigerians and Ghana, Ghanaians. It was, it's Congolese it, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's, you know Kenyans yeah. and. Definitely. The Mozambique and Yeah, Cameroon. I learned Cameroon. Cameroon. I learned Cameroon. They're speaking they speak French. Yeah. That's their language. At so, one point were you able to get some legal help? Oh man. This is a bad time because um I got locked up at the end of November, like Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving. And Arab goes on holiday December first. Ramadan? Is that Ramadan? So they went on holiday for the whole month. Oh yeah, nothing. No, no, no. Done. They went on holiday for the whole month. And so nothing got done. So the whole December, like they're like, you're not gonna see nobody like court. They don't. They're going on vacay, and they ain't gonna be back till after New Year. So I already knew Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's was done. Like I knew that. Mm. I already had that go through that in my brain. Like that's done. You know what I'm saying? So my family, I knew they was gonna miss me for that, and nobody else was gonna know when I was gonna get out. It was just like there's no day. So. The U.S. Embassy comes within the first seven days when you get there. And then they just sit there like, you think the rescue team is there? You're like, yes. They're like, the Americans you are here. Americans. You're like, about time. Get them in. Get me up out of here. What is going on? And the U.S. looks at the embassy. They can look at you like, you've been tortured in here? No, no, no. Keep in mind. The guards are right there with you. It ain't like it's private. Like the guards are sitting there, like, what you gonna say? Yeah, what like, are you about to say? Say something. Uh huh. Like, no, nah, they treating me all right in here. All right. Good. They give me food. They give me water. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> all right. Well, if, if they don't, if they hurt you, we'll be back. But uh, as long as they don't hurt you, we can't do nothing for you. And good luck. And I was like, 
and everybody in the jail was like, U.S. Embassy, come get you. U.S. Embassy, come get you. U.S. Embassy. To reference Taha and Davis said again, like, he said, they said the U.S. Embassy, the U.S. Embassy, said, here, this finna be a breeze. I'm out. They were like, not so yeah. God. Call Barack, please. So now they Y'all know recruit. Barack? So now they recruited me. So now they recruited me. Your country doesn't want you back. Well, come on down with us. <laughs> Shit, they was trying to radicalize your yeah. ass. And then you just got to start learning. You got to take the, the, you know what I'm saying? You got to take the Quran into consideration. You're in a Muslim jail, and it's mosques on both ends of the jail. And they're praying five times a day. And it's a Muslim jail. It's a Muslim country. So I had no choice but to start learning and, and taking in the culture because I didn't know how long I was going to be there. Mm-hmm. So there's no reason to be ignorant and up here trying to be, you know, Mr. American, the guy, the arrogant American in here. You might as well got to adapt. Yeah. It's people in here that's, you know, linked to Al Qaeda and, mm. and been had military uh, sergeants held captive for over 10 years. I was sitting here talking to a guy who held, who held a, a military lieutenant captain for 10 years. He had him in his house until the until the military converted into Islam and they let him go. I was sitting there talking to the man. He was a god in the jail. <laughs> I was like, who is that guy? Why is everyone like working? He was in jail for two days. They let him out. How many people were in your, did you in, were in your cell? Six. Six in the cell. When you went yes. to sleep, there were six people sleeping there. Yeah, six. So you couldn't even jerk off in peace. Oh no, no way. What's not happening? I <sighs> when did you get? To we know? had a pack of Uno cards though. Let's talk about that, that first time you had sex when you got out of the jail, though. <laughs> that post-56 days. Post-56, and I just backed up. I was about to say, and did you even wait, or do you just jerk off the second you walk out? Backed or do you up. go, like, I, you got to move on Man, this. Man, I had, I had a girl waiting for me at the airport. Right. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, God respect, bless you. Respect. <laughs> so um, <laughs> a, 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 why on the 56th day were you able to, to get out? What happened to move your case up faster yeah. than other people? Um. Well... What happened uh, on, on some real honesty? I, I made a really genuine relationship with the warden, who felt like, man, after watching me and seeing I was starting to embrace instead of just rebelling. You know what I'm saying? I started actually taking it in. I actually started, you know, talking to everybody. I just started taking a role in the jail, where guards were actually like, we dig this little American. You know what I'm saying? He's the only one in here. He, he he's kind of we he's not what we thought American would be, mm. you know what I'm saying? I kind of whatever the open their mind up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, open their mind up a little bit, and my mind was open as well because ask me about Afghanistan people, and you got CNN shows you a certain type of person. I've seen I've met Pakistanians, I met Afghanistans, I met Iran, I've met Iraq, I've met Saudis. I know Saudi has the money. I've seen Saudis come in jail and override and trump the whole jail. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know Saudi Arabia can do that. They got money. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? It's like Africa. I didn't know they speak French. I met all these people that from Af- from, from Nairobi. You know what I'm saying? They taught me Akuna Matata, what that really means. You know what I'm saying? Big Matata, big trouble. They, yeah. they say that all the time. Big Matata. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like, well, thank yeah, you. Guess you what? Know what? Now I'm we saying? say it all the time too. Right. Thank you. So big like, Matata. I just say Big Tata. So yeah. no, 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 that's different. Right. different. That's not trouble. So that's good. Like, <laughs> yeah. So when you learn, you getting out. Um, what happened? Dude, they was actually about to give me like, I was in um, having a meeting with my lawyer, and my lawyer was like, "It's looking like I can get you down to two years," and I was like, two years." I was just sitting there quiet. He was staring at me like, that was good news. <laughs> I'm looking like two years. So the warden was kind of eavesdropping in the background. And I was like, man, just give me a minute. And the lawyer took like 10 minutes and I just was sitting there just just, just down. And the warden came in and I was like, man, he just told me two years. And the warden was like, yeah. He was like, well, you probably won't do the whole two years. You know, it might be one. He was like, yeah. He was like, then he was like, come here. He called another guy in the room who worked in the, uh, worked in the jail. And they started talking Arabic. I didn't know what they were talking about. And they were doing hand motions, and they were looking at me. And I was like, I don't know what they're talking about. So then the warren was like, tell you what. He called me by my real name, William. He's like, tell you what, William. This guy works with the prosecutor that's trying to prosecute you. We're going we're gonna to talk to him for you. 
You know what I'm saying? And the warden was like, this really ain't in my job description. I'm not supposed to be calling no prosecutors on your behalf because that's their job. Like, I don't go over their head. You know right. what I'm saying? That's really out my pocket. But for you, I'm going to make one phone call. He was wow. like, if he answers, he answers. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But I'll do that. I'll do that one for you. I was like, man, whatever you can do. A phone call. Hopefully that'll do it. By the time I walked back from the warden, back in the jail, I called my mom. I was like, Mom, they talking about two years. So I made that phone call. So while I was on the phone, the whole jail was like, America, America, they call America. America, America, America. Come to the front, come to the front. Warren wants you, Warren wants you. This was like five minutes later, 10 minutes. So I, I'm like, hold on, Mom, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. Call, I went, ran up to the front. And the warden was like, got some good news. I was like, what? He was like, You'll be going home in about two weeks. Like, give me two weeks, you'll be going home. Now here's a, okay. I went back to the phone, called my mom. I was like, Mom, I you said, ain't gonna remember this. I said two years? <laughs> two weeks. Now hold on, I have a question. Are you able Jeez. to at that point, once you know it's two weeks, in an odd way, can you enjoy the next no. two weeks? No. You still couldn't enjoy the next Didn't two weeks. Anything could happen too. Didn't Didn't tell tell so you're still scared. Didn't tell you're not nobody. sitting there like, oh, it's yeah. guaranteed I'm right. out. Well, no, they no, just no, plugged no. him up. Yeah, they just and plugged then what him if up. he telling other people that he got the plug? Uh -uh. Right. Nope. Oh, do you do a plug walk afterwards? No, nah, because <laughs> you gotta hit the <laughs> plug walk. You can't you can't really do it because you still <laughs> I had just, I had just, I couldn't plug walk. Because, <laughs> but you happy about it? Yeah, but I was happy. <laughs> but you can't because I had just seen some yeah, Syrians, right? And they let them out and they plug walked. Yeah, <laughs> you know nope. what I'm saying? And we clapped for them when they got out. Yeah. And two hours later, they brought mm -hmm. them back in oh. and they got overrode their probation. Their um, when you get acting uh, too happy. Yeah, you they they got overrided. Like no, we're not letting them out. And they put them back in. They had their cell phones and everything in their hand. They had Damn, everything Damn, they back. just got... So and you're they came back in jail, and they didn't come out their cell for a week. <laughs> it, was, it was sick. So you said, hell no. Sick. So I couldn't plug walk. No plug walk. <laughs> no plug walk. <laughs> but when you I'm eventually got out... Happy what about when you got on the plane, though? Did you leave? At what plane? point? No, when I got... Through TSA. T in America. Because they walk you... No, no, they walk you in Dubai. Oh, they walk in Dubai. you to the airport. Like, they walk you to the airport like you're a big fugitive or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you're walking, and everyone's like, what's going on? And then you get to the to put your stuff through the tray through the TSA, and once it goes to the other side, he looks at you. He said, "Good luck." And he shook my hand. He was like, "You're free." And then he walked that way, and I walked that way. Holy shit! Yo, you was doing that dance you did on the roof in the mill. Yo, colorblind is out right now. Colorblind, yo, right that, now, man. Honestly, I swear to God, story behind this. We could have, we could have sat here and talked about your album in this interview. <laughs> I swear to God, we just did more. That is, that was incredible. That I. Why is the title wrong. colorblind? Does it have something to do with it? Yeah, yeah, it does, man. It got something to do with this. The whole story I just told, just learning different cultures and being colorblind to just being all the, all the like stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? And prejudices that I I pre had before I went right. fifty six nights. Things that they put in my brain that I didn't even know was put in my brain mm -hmm. is out my brain now. I you bet know you what the what first saying? time you heard that I lie walk by in there, you was, oh yeah. You were scared, right? Because oh, yeah. they program it's there's programmed. people in America that believe that prayer, that call to God is like a terrorist threat. Exactly. And I learned the total opposite. You know what I mean? Um Assalamu alaikum, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, peace. It's all about peace. Peace upon you, peace be on, upon me. Like, the whole thing is about peace. So, I was really sat down. I sat down with a um, religion guy when I was in prison to break it down because in, in, in when you're in prison, that's all really you got. You got to time. Talk. Yeah. Time to talk. And they know their religion over there. They know their Quran. Like, they know it. Like, hand front to back the most street dude in there knew that Quran back and forth you know what I'm saying so I was learning they were asking me questions about um, just like uh, American religions and Christianity and versus Muslim it wasn't a it was always healthy conversations because it was always it was always about learning not about what's right or what's better it was always about what's going on over here and what's going on over there. Well, now, I'm sure yeah. if they know the Quran, then they know the relationship between all the religions, exactly. so it's not even about right. hating other belief exactly. systems. 
Yep. So it was a dope. Um, it's hard to say that it was a dope experience because it was really the humiliation. It was the worst part of. It was the worst thing I ever been through, but yet the best thing ever came out of it. That's how. Yeah. That's how lessons get learned, right. man. <laughs> Colorblind. Congrats, bro. Uh, Colorblind. Man, get it pleasure, now, pleasure. Yo, get it, man. Yeah. Get it. Esco, give Thank it up. Thank you, man. DJ Thank Esco. You. Hey. <laughs>